Hey everybody, it's Tamika. I am here to share with you guys a couple projects that I created for a hop that I'm participating in, hosted by Regina from The Cutting Cafe. I am a design team member for Regina and have been for a long time. She's a sweet, sweet lady and she has awesome files. So you guys be sure to check them out. You do not have to have a cutting machine to use her files as she puts them in different formats. So you have SVG, MTC, um, and PDF, which you can print off and cut by hand. Regina also has a tangible shop where you can receive items like stamp sets, ribbons, kits, paper, um, clear acetate, um, things like that. So I will put both of those links in the description box as well as the blog post so you guys will be able to see all of the participants and what they created for this hop. So um, I created items that I could do dual things with. So I am in a craft fair, so I have made items that I could use for the craft fair, but also I want to be able to use them for teacher gift, coworker gift, neighbor, friend, things like that. And plus Kyla has a um, couple of friend, friend girls that she want to give some items to for just friendship gifts. Um, some of them came to her party. So I think I have incorporated all three of those into these two projects. So let me share with you what I used for the first project. So I use this um, punch, this ticket punch by EK Success has three different um, sizes of the ticket punch. I also use this tiny flower punch. I use this embossing folder with this particular pattern. Really, really cute. I think it's made by Dereese. And then I also use some stuff adhesive gems in the project for a little bit of decoration. So let me show you what I made. Super cute! <laughs> it is so adorable. I love this. This is good for um, just a friend, a coworker, or something like that, a teacher gift. Um, so I use the tea box holder template I will put that down below as with everything that I use so we can just know that it'll be down below and then I also use the hot beverage treat cups um sentiments for that is a hot beverage treat cup but I use the sentiments and this one is to a terrific friend and I thought that was super cute and it's a, I use the teapot file so what this is the file and all I did was cut it you know cut it twice cut a little piece out and then stuck it together to make like a little pouch. So that's the back. I used white cardstock. I embossed the front. I had pinned this on Pinterest like a few years ago and have been meaning to make it. And this was the perfect opportunity, easily duplicable for craft fair or gifts. So I just punched a little bit of flowers, added those little blings on the inside. And then I added just a little bit of, um, organza ribbon just to add just a little shabby to it and then these teas are awesome i get these at work and they are so good if you haven't tried this mighty leaf chamomile citrus tea it is excellent it's caffeine free but it's really good like if you're sick or if you just want something warm and i just made that little pouch to fit in there these will be great sell these at a craft fair give them away um, as gifts and then you can always put another uh, little sentiment or stamp set or sign on the back here so i thought this was adorable and it makes a great craft fair gift so all the links for this will be in the description box below let me show you the items that i used for the next project all right so of course i bought back out my sweet peppermint paper collection 12 by 12 i love this paper i bought two of them and you guys know i don't buy 12 by 12 number one and I don't buy two, but I really like this paper collection. It's a shabby Christmas and I love it. So I used this sweet peppermint paper collection. And then here are some of the sentiments that I have left from the um, hot beverage treat cup. It's really, you can do a hot, in the treat cup file, you can put like your little marshmallows and stuff in there and make that your gift but i really wanted the sentiments that's on here you warm my heart cup of soup like you can use these sentiments and the different fonts and um things on here for different for different items that you want to shove your present you know whatever you're using so apple cider you can use you know the apple cider tea file a uh, soup you can get one of those little lipton uh, ready-made chicken soups um of course happy birthday happy holidays sending you a cup of cheer peppermint and uh, so teacher and friend sorry you're getting sick like it's a versatile um sentiment that she came up with so i um, want to share with you and that's again the hot beverage treat cup sentiments 
okay i use these cups i purchased guys i purchased these cups so long ago and i thought i better use them and what better way to use them than in a craft fair and then these particular things are going to go to i'm going to make several of them and give them to kyla so she can give them to her friends but i got these from um what do you call it? web restaurant i think is what it's called and it's four ounce um hot cups they're re really little tiny cups that you can use and there are a lot of things you can do with these little cups i'm trying to pull one out in here Look how tiny it is. Fit in the palm of your hand. You can do a lot of little things in here. Halloween coming up. You can pack them with treats and things like that. The only qualm is you order one sleeve of this because this is a pack of 50. and But you have to order two of the lids. or some. It's something odd about this and I can't remember. But you get one of these sleeves and then you get two uh, cups of lids. So maybe it's a pack of 25. I can't remember. It's been so long ago. But I'll put the link to this in the description box you guys can check it out they were pretty um inexpensive and if you're going to be in a craft fair giving gifts they were well worth it um i went to the dollar tree got me some jet puffs tiny marshmallows i'm guessing you know what i made i also picked up these peppermints i love um that they were from the dollar tree and i could use them a lot like i, I don't have to repurchase i won't run out basically also got these Andes mints. Now these were not at the Dollar Tree this time. You can find them there. I've seen, I've purchased them there several, several times. So I had to go to Walmart and grab these. Um, but you can sometimes find these at the Dollar Tree. Okay, and then the last couple of items um, that I used were this Fiskars um, Thick Circle Punch. I got this in the clearance rack recently here at Michael's. And finally, I tied my gift up with some specialized ribbon. Uh, Regina now is carrying printed ribbon in her shop. This is the clear ribbon. And you can put whatever sentiment you want on it. This says just for you from Tamika. Best thing to do with this is to wrap it or back it behind cardstock. I'm not cardstock. Clear organza uh, ribbon or something like that. So that's one. And then I also got this one that says just for you from scrap from Tamika. And then scrap the world. And this is, um, I think, half inch uh, ribbon and it has silver. She has many, many colors, couple different sizes, and then you and many um, foil textures that you can put on top for the writing or for the script, different fonts. So be sure to check out that custom link for your own printed ribbon. So those are the big things that I used for this project. And I am going to clear this off and show you what I made. I love this teeny tiny little box of love. Look at that. So for this file, I used the tiny um, window box and you could also use cupcake box with lid. So I will put both of those down below. And then of course I use the sentiments from the hot beverage uh, treat cup as well. So this cutie is super cute. And I punched a little eyelet here. You wore my heart. I backed that up on some of the pattern paper. And that is just tied together with a little bit of um, hemp rope on there just to add a little something. You wore my heart is super cute. Okay. And then the recipient would just take this bow off. I'm going to slide this off this way because it's so pretty. And I use the ribbon from that's printed from the shop just for you. And look at it. It's so cute. So I use some of the clear acetate, which I don't have any more left, but Regina sells this in her shop. Okay. And then this is the box of love that the recipient will get. See how cute this is for the little kiddos. Like they don't have to have a whole bunch of hot chocolate, just a little bit of four ounce cup. So in the, this proportion, this little tiny portion, they will make this four ounce cup of hot chocolate hot cocoa so i added a little stir stick it's really a stir stick i just cut it down so it'll fit one into the box and it'll be just enough to use to stir the hot chocolate with and then here is the little bitty peppermint they can crush it up and put it inside there since it's such a small amount you only need one 
I also added the Andy's Mint here. And I added a little bit of double-sided tape so it'll stay perfectly inside this box. But added some pattern paper. I just wrapped the Andy's Mint in the pattern paper. And then used this little sentiment from the collection. It says sweet to add a little something. Now this, this does not come with the box. I just folded a little piece of paper um, in there to be able to prop this up. So it'll display nicely through the window. And then there's a little box of a little bag of marshmallows, tiny little marshmallows. And then here is the tiny little cocoa cup. I covered it up with the um, pattern paper. I added a little bowl um, from a, a bowl die that I have and put a little flat back pearl in there. Added a little bitty tiny lace around the edges and then covered it with the hole punch. And then you would just open this up and then there is the um, portioned out amount of um, hot cocoa and it happens to be white chocolate um, white chocolate hot chocolate and then I just added a little shreds down there so that fits perfectly back in there you put your little um, what do you call these marshmallows in there you have your peppermint your little chocolate piece in there and then the stir stick and everything looks so neatly packaged and then you put your top back on and you're good to go look how cute like look how cute that is super super adorable so both of these projects I mean this is a little bit more labor intensive but they're good for craft fair if you want to do that or you can singly just use like the cupcake box with lid which is what I was going to do and then just have um, this in there and then it's a box with a little window right here perfect this is all you need maybe you can stick the peppermint on top call it a day so both of them will work and I debate it but I wanted mine to have a little extra flair because you can dress up or dress down a hot chocolate or tea gift so I would consider this dressing up uh, a hot chocolate or hot cocoa gift and it gets even fancier after that and then I will consider this one dressing it down simple little teapot a little embossing and you're good to go so you guys be sure to check out Regina um, her online shop and their tangible shop I'll put both links in the description box everything that I mentioned will be in the description box and be sure to follow um, all of the participants in the hop leave a comment like the video support find a new friend you never know who's giving away something in the hop all right guys I will talk to you guys later like the video if you like it guys it's free and I love to see all the likes it's so pretty all right I'll talk to you later bye